and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting at Hillsboro, Illinois, USA Express. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my best It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, he's got that right hand going. 
tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Can't take many of those, you better check. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh, he lands the Superman punch, how about it? Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becoming twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Got clipped with the right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. He loaded up there on that high kick. Now a knee. Oh, straight right. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A bit. Horrible. Throwing that jab now again, the fire evades. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch land over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. Throws the right hand there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Still nice body kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Round two is next. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on the highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected and we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big 
big body kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Ooh, what a head kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Sneaky head kick. Oh, what a punch. after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Real quick leg kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, nice. Oh, a huge block there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice counter left hook. Big elbow there, Lance. Beautiful knee. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Looking to land the right just out of it. He blocks the shot. knee to the body. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Massive head kick. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, nice. from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. This cut's pretty bad. The ref wants to stop it. I need you to get out 
All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of a... Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He died, and now he's got him hurt bad. with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Tonight and it shows. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Nice leg. And both guys really throwing with the four. What a tricky head kick. And they separate. Big leg kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has to spin his hand speed. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. Whoa! Whoa! lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to get the back. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Goes back to that left kick once again. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And now he's got the tight punch. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Now connects with a right. And he caught the kick. exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Oh, nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Punches block. Right under the elbow, the body kick nice. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Straight punch lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. <laughs> and he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Final seconds of round three. They got him 
whip his hip into that kick. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. I'm out there. You are a cardio machine. Cardio is the key to your victory right now. Keep doing what you're doing. Push the pace. This guy can... All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we get this next round. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by Lee. Left hand counter there. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Nice straight punch. It is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Big kick lands. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Nice body kick. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good punch land. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Remain in the round. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Watch the power tie now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Lunges forward with a left there. That was a thud leg kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, the thunderous leg kick on him. Flipped it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly. By that one big leg kick. Ooh, big shot man. Oh, Superman punches through. Nice straight 
left hand. Oh, huge knee to the head. Big body to the land. And there comes the separation now. Big kick lands. Final seconds here. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Get back and regroup. Take a deep breath and recover. Your wrestling wasn't sharp last round. You were forcing the shots. Remember what we did in the gym? All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at how he turns his hip to that leg. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Beautiful body kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big punch land. Single collar tie now. Real sneaky body kick. And they separate. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Back and forth we go here. Big leg kick land. What a body kick. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a cheeky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Powerful leg kick land. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh. oh, straight right. Going 
going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, big left. Misses again with a right punch. Five seconds remain in the rack. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! What a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.